Hello everyone, welcome back to Stargate Valley. I'm so glad that you're able to join me again because in today's video I will be showing you my daily routine here at the barn. So Stargate Valley is still being worked on, it's not very big as it is right now, so we only have four horses, one including my friend's horse. Even though this place is small and we don't have that many horses, I still got huge plans for this place and there's still a lot of work to be done here, so let's begin. And here with me is my racing horse, her name is Starling. Her show name is Dazzle the Knight and she is a thoroughbred. She's about, I'd say like eight or nine years old, I'm not exactly sure. We haven't done any races together yet, mainly because I only had just bought her not that long ago and she was also sick, so I had to nurse her back to health. Okay, I think Starling's a bit done with me now, so we'll go on to the next horse. Here with me I have Brazuli. His show name is a painted note mainly because he is a paint. He is my show jumping horse and we've come fifth and I think third in two competitions. He is an Oldenburg stallion. I'm sorry if I pronounce Oldenburg wrong or whatever, but that's Brazuli. Last one of my horses and this here is Onyx. His show name is Razzle Dazzle. He is my barrel racing horse. We haven't done any competitions yet together. He has in his past but sadly he wasn't in very good shape so we have just been working on him making sure he's all healthy and happy and so he's fit for doing shows. He is an American uh, quarter horse. Uh, stallion. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot. Razuli is about five and Onyx is seven. Okay, I'm going to show you one more horse, which is my friend's horse, and then we'll start actually taking care of them. And out of the four horses, this is the last one, my friend's horse, uh, Little Nasty. Don't ask why she called her man Little Nasty, but she is a, a Welsh pony. We love her dearly, even though she can be a bit stubborn, but that's my friend's pony. <laughs> Okay, now that you've met all of the horses, we can now start mucking at their stall, cleaning them, feeding them, etc, etc. First thing that I always like to do is muck out their stalls. Today they're not actually that bad, which is a big surprise to me because there's always heaps of stuff there to clean up. But we'll go do that very quickly. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, my friend's horse really loves this corner, so we gotta kinda ask for her to move out of the way, cause there's always stuff in this corner. And there we go, just saying thank you, and there she goes, right back to her corner. Now that I've mucked out all of their stalls, I go upstairs to go grab some clean shavings. And yes, I understand that this looks like um, a maze of shavings. I ordered a tad too many, but I guess you can never have too many shavings.
after I'm done placing down all the new shavings, I do the long walk to what I call the manure shack. I just place it all down there and uh, pay a monthly fee for someone to come along and take that away. And then I walk all the way back. <laughs> Then I go to fill up or top up their water because they are always drinking and I always like to make sure they have water on them anytime they need a drink. After that I usually go refill all the buckets um, at this little water refill thing that I made which is super handy and then I go put them back for the next time I use them. I try my best to keep everything organized but it doesn't always work out. So usually after when I've done all that it's about time for me to feed them all. They don't all have their own individual um, diet like Starling does so I just give them what Starling has. So I just go around grabbing what I need like I'll take a good handful of sports feed same with the hay pellets. The hay pellets just give some flavor so they're not so bored with their meals and then I make sure each horse gets at least one immune boost every day to stop and prevent further sicknesses. Today I decided instead of my vite I would give them weight boost and then I decided that I would give them all hay flakes just for something different. So Starling always gets her food first, then Razuli, then Onyx. And my friend feeds and waters her own horse and that's why you don't see me doing it here. While I'm feeding all the horses I like to just check up on them to make sure that they're all healthy and Starling is which is wonderful. So I'm not exactly sure what happened here, I think while I was trying to get all the feed ready for Starlink she got impatient and decided to eat the cameraman instead. <laughs> Don't worry, our cameraman is fine, for the most part at least. Maybe a bit traumatised but he'll be okay. But as soon as we started getting some food on her she was all good. She refused her um, other feed and I'm not sure why but after that she was done with me. And then here's Rasuli waiting so patiently for his food. Um, I can't say the same about Starling, uh, but uh, she's she's special. Um, all the horses are special here, and they all get equal amount of love. Onyx can get a bit pushy and impatient just like Starling, well not as bad as Starling but still pretty bad in this clip you will see him getting all over me right here he's getting and pushing me all around because I'm apparently not feeding him enough or fast enough or whatever. And yes I'm aware of that number two in the corner right there he constantly does this I'll clean his stall and then he'll immediately Go again right after. It's not very nice, but that's Onyx for you. Anyways, after that I usually wait until whatever they're eating is finished just so they're all settled down for me to groom them. Okay, real talk now. These stall doors, I absolutely love them, but it's almost nearly impossible to get your horse out. It's so annoying, but oh well. <laughs> So I've been trying to teach my horses to sort of walk in, turn around and straighten up. Uh, it's not working very well but uh, they're getting there, you know, they're learning. So when I'm actually grooming them I have sped up the clips just because uh, it takes a good amount of time to get them all clean and groomed and everything, uh, especially if you got more than one horse, which I got I got three of them I have to do, so these clips will be sped up. Hope you don't mind.
And there you go, that's basically my whole entire daily routine with the horses. So pretty much after that, it really depends on the day, like I could be doing competitions or I could have a free day or I'll just be going around doing jobs for people. It really varies depending on what the day has to bring. For example, if I'm going to be very busy on said certain day, I will lunge my horses just so they get a bit of exercise and depending on the weather, I will let them out, run free in the paddocks just so they're not cooped in all day while I'm away. Or if I do have some more time on my hands, I will do different things with them like hang out with them in their pastures, play around with them, uh, exercise them a bit more than just lunging even though I'll still be doing a bit of lunging and that. I'll be mixed with groundwork, trail rides, anything great and anything active for the horses and good for them, you name it. Oh wait, I'm coming, I'm coming, let me, let me just give me a second. Give me a minute. Okay, now sadly, yes, this video has come to an end. I really enjoyed creating this video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked or enjoyed this kind of video, please let me know and um, I will most likely do more in the future because I just, I really had so much fun recording this video. Okay, I'm gonna go now, but there are some clips of me and Razuli going over a few jumps and just sort of working together. If you're interested in looking at those, uh, they're just at the end of the video, but I'm gonna say goodbye now. So, bye guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.